If you're someone interested in getting your question answered, whether that be with pre-med advice, MCAT advice, admissions advice, uh, medical school advice, anything you, you'd like to get answered, just check out the description down below. I have all the information on how you can submit your question and your situation to me and get it answered in a video just like this one. In this video, we'll be talking about UWorld and how important it is, if it is important when it comes to MCAT studying and boosting your MCAT score. Let's get into it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you who may be new, my name is Terrence. I'm an accepted medical school applicant and I'll be starting medical school this upcoming August of 2020. I first want to start off this video by saying thank you to everyone that has been supporting me thus far. Everyone that subscribed to the channel. We're almost up to 100 subscribers and to think that I would have been able to build the channel uh, this quickly, this fast uh, has been a uh, dream come true for me so thank you guys so much for subscribing and for sticking along i hope to be able to put out great quality content for you guys and help many more out there uh just like me with that being said i really want to improve upon the engagement and interaction between myself and my subscribers so i decided to create a new series on my channel where i'll be taking your questions and your email suggestions and your email submissions and turning it into video format where I answer your questions in a video just like this one. So let's start off with this email. I'll be reading the email on my screen here and then going into a little bit more detail about what advice I would give based on what the person is telling me in their email. This person I've been luckily lucky enough to go back and forth with in conversation so I know a little bit more about her. But when you're sending in your emails, make sure to just try to be as thorough as possible. If I need more information, I'll be sure to you know go back and forth with you before I make a video about it. So let's start with this first one. She says, uh, my name is blank. I'm a pre-med student. I want to thank you for posting your MCAT videos on YouTube. They were really helpful to watch. Uh, that's really nice of you to take the time to make those videos. Also, huge congrats on your MCAT score improvement, acceptance into medical school thank you so much i thank you in the video but i also want to thank you again or i thank you in the email but i also want to thank you again in this video because uh, it's really amazing to be able to create something uh, just on my computer and using an iphone to record in this mic um, be able to just create something for you guys to be able to take away from and, and really help you in the future um, so that means the world to me and thank you so much for supporting my channel and you know sending in your email and having the courage to to really you know, do this. It's, it's, it's really hard to be vulnerable in certain situations when you're asking for help. So thank you for taking the time to uh, submit to me. Uh, so she's saying how she has a 3.8 GPA, really good. I was disappointed on her MCAT retake that she went from a 491 to a 496 uh, after studying really hard. Normally she's a decent test taker, but for some reason she struggled on the MCAT. She was approximately 21 seats away um, from her dream MD school, which is the University of New Mexico, via the alternate list. Uh, they told her that if she gets her MCAT up to a 500 on her next attempt, it would increase her chances. I also learned about her that she, this is her fourth year, I think, applying to medical school. So, you know, kudos to that perseverance and that hard work. It just goes to show that uh, a couple of things that MCAT, yes, is very important. Um, a lot of people, and it was for me too, pretty much the last thing that was stopping me from getting into medical school. Uh, I knew that 500 on my first attempt was not good enough and I needed to increase my score. And fortunately with hard work, I was able to increase it to a 513. But a lot of people, the MCAT is what's stopping them from getting into medical school. And it's really unfortunate. But on the brighter side is the holistic review of the medical school application process is amazing. To allow her to even get that close with an MCAT sub 500, just goes to show she probably has great experiences uh, good letters of recommendation and and a, and a stellar GPA at 3.5. So don't be discouraged. The MCAT is kind of one of those things. It's a passage, a rite of passage, and it's it's tough that it's like that. But I think it's important to understand that if you can conquer this test, then you you could probably you know write yourself a, a good uh, letter to potentially get into uh, medical school. When I look at the her score in particular. Uh, the sub 500 score for me a lot of the times with the sub 500 it was just a matter of me not knowing my content and not getting enough practice in with the practice questions i think that that's my biggest takeaway from the sub 500 whenever i was scoring sub 500 or around 500 on my practice exams it was just because i just didn't know basic stuff like little things like not knowing um 
terminology would stump me not knowing what certain structures of amino acids or or intermediates for glycolysis krebs cycle little things like that would stump me organic chemistry reactions um physics or chemistry formulas stuff like that would stump me and it would cause me to have a lower score or, or lower comprehension of what the passage was trying to uh tell me so i think one of the biggest things is practice questions and uh content review for uh for her and i'll go into that a little bit more with her her second half of the email here so she asked would you world be a big part of your score increase she was wondering because on a lot of reddit forums she saw that it was a major help some people increased their score four to ten points due to the help of you world uh, she never used you world and was definitely planning on using it this time any advice or help would be appreciated i'll first start off by saying this and i've mentioned it in my previous videos you world was absolutely amazing and huge for me i could not have probably scored that 513 without it and there's really two reasons for it i don't necessarily put all the credit on you world for helping me increase my score yes it was a great tool but what you world allowed me to do was just get as much practice in as possible so because it was taking my second attempt with the mcat i had used a lot of the aamc materials before i've seen the questions and just seeing new questions and getting thrown new things for the first time and having to adapt to them is just something that you have to train your brain to be able to do and having that opportunity to work with in that area and work uh, on training that aspect of my brain to be able to see these passages for the first time and be able to answer these questions uh, was something that you would allowed me to do. I was already scoring around a 509, 510 before I even started uh, UWorld. So I think it just allowed me to get to that extra level. And on top of that, I think the great explanations that UWorld gives you and the tools, this is not a UWorld ad at all, but the great tools that it gives you by allowing you to study what you got wrong uh, showing you where you you went wrong in the passage the type of questions that they are um, Just the, just the explanations will probably get you to that next level So I don't think it would take me specifically if I just did you world I don't think it would take me from a 500 to a 513 with just you world implemented uh, I think it was a lot of content review a lot of content practice uh, More practice questions and familiarity with the question style But you would probably took me from that 509 to that 513 and beyond uh, on my practice exam. So I would definitely say you world is useful for two reasons. It gives you so many practice questions that you can never run out of. If you complete that you were bundle, you're in great, great shape. And also it has the ability to kind of take you to that next level by giving you those extra explanations and allowing you to have the opportunity to dissect your uh, passage practice even more. So that's uh, the second reason why I think you world is great. Thank you for watching this video. That's pretty much gonna sum up this one. If you're new, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy this video. I'll be putting out weekly videos just like this one on pre-med, MCAT, my future experiences as a medical student, medical school admissions, the whole nine yards. So stay tuned and thank you again for watching. Let's get it.